Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, third uh, presentation of the Robot FX non lag moving average expert advisor. Uh, there's been only one thing to discuss, uh, well I hope, <coughs> and this is the option to hedge uh, one second. And this is the option to hedge fluid, hedge fluid. Uh, the video, not, the first video was about oh, well, all the other settings and how the expert advisor works and um, how it trades without hedging, just placing stop loss and take profit. The second video was about hedging the zone, uh, same way the uh, auto recovery expert advisor does. And this, the third video will be about uh, hedge fluid, hedging fluidly, hedging with the trend, in other words. The same way uh, the robot effects fluid can do. And uh, well, let's go straight to work and explain it first of all. Uh, we've explained hedging the zone, what hedge fluid means. It means that we uh, hedge with the trend. And uh, let's consider this part of the chart as an example. One second, let's make it bigger. You should know uh, uh, by now that. Um, Right. You should know by now that on the left side of the, the chart we have a downtrend and uh, on the right side we have an uptrend. Uh, and so the expert advisor will be allowed to only sell in this part and only to buy in the second part. Well, considering the uh, um, non lag moving average signal uh, indicator. So, in other words, if the expert advisor will have opened a trade in a very bad moment, let's say here, just because it was the, the trend moving average, it's uh, black, it's down color, um, and the price is uh, under the moving average, and uh, finally the signal moving average changed the color from uh, white to black, which is down trend. If you enter a trade here, uh, probably it wouldn't have time to set a stop loss, a break even. And so the price will rise and it will, uh, well, maybe lose, right, if you lose a stop loss. Uh, however, uh, using the hedge fluid option, the expert advisor, after it will open this trade, it will still place a pending trade 50 pips away, a pending buy, so if you, uh, this one is a sell, it will still place a pending buy, uh, which will be uh, higher than the sell, depending on the ratio, again, between the stop loss and the take profit. Uh, one more time, I remind you that the, if the ratio is 1, 50 divided by 50, stop loss and take profit, uh, then it makes the opposite trade double the size. So if you have opened, uh, the expert advisor would have opened a uh, lot size 1 here, the pending trade would have been a 2, right? And well, in this example, the, the price uh, went very nice up and it would have closed this basket of two trades uh, somewhere here, I don't know where, uh, at, uh, at break even or not at break even, or exactly when the, the profit would have reached the minimum profit, which is again in, uh, in currency, 0 0.05 dollars or 5 cents. Now, uh, however, let's say this wouldn't happen. Um, if the expert advisor will open this trade here, well, it will place the, the same uh, pending, uh, at the same distance of the stop loss distance 50 pips away the pending buy. Uh, maybe it will open, let's say, another sell, and then the price, the trend will change, and now we have an uptrend uh, determined by the expert advisor due to the fact that the uh, price is from this point on to the right the price is uh, um, above the non lag moving average, the trend moving average, and the trend moving average is also a white color for that trend. So, uh, <coughs> that would tell it's strange. So, from this point, hedging fluid means that the, the expert advisor will open trades, uh, being allowed to trade, um, to, to buy from this half uh, uh, to the right, only being allowed to buy, it will open buys um, normally when the signal moving average will change the color from down into up, like for example here or here or here, it will open buys uh, 
uh, when this will happen as it would have uh, uh, traded normally and of course it will calculate the lot size of this buy uh, to cover and to follow the same uh, algorithm to cover the loss um, in case uh, well just to cover the loss of the the, the other trade the, the opposite trade the sales let's say we have one sell here another one sell here uh, one buy here and then another buy here all right so uh, you know what let's try this in the strategy tester better I've messed around with the strategy tester uh, before and trying to, to find a well a nice period of chart to, to better explain this to understand so you can understand it faster so I'll use the same time frame November last year and the expert advisor we are trading now fluidly I hope <clears throat> The same uh, thing happens for the first trade. Uh, as I said, the expert advisor will uh, what's this? the expert advisor will still place the opposite uh, pending order, uh, but only one. This will be our protection, our stop loss, let's say. Well, we have two, three possible trades, and finally that basket is open. And now we have one buy and one sell, and, and in this case the sell is 0 0.04, the buy is 0 0.02, it's bigger, uh, so the sell is bigger than the buy. However, it is still an uptrend, I don't need to load the non live moving average on the chart to see this, and it's still an uptrend, and the, the next thing that the expert advisor will do is wait for the signal non line moving average to change the color from black, which I suppose it is now, into white, and then there it is, and then open a buy trade, a hedging buy trade, 0 0.06. This is hedging with the trend, basically, right? And when you are at this point, and now depending on your trading skills, of course, you could also close this sell because you are so close, it will be a, a small loss and then let the price uh, well, go higher and now you are in profit with one trade <coughs> and uh, well let's see what happens all right the hedging buy has been closed I don't know if the trend is still up now it looks like it's coming down but I don't know about the non-line moving averages uh, as I said in the other videos, I don't load them on the chart in the strategy tester, although I should uh, to make this explanation easier for you, because uh, the tester runs very, very, very slow if these are on the chart. I, I really don't know why. The expert advisor also uses them and it doesn't seem to run too slow. Anyway, the trend is still up. The expert advisor closed, opened another hedging by 0.06. Uh, this time it happened to be higher than the previous one. Um, I imagine the um, non live moving average made a, a move up, down, up, and somewhere here, uh, right, it changed the color from uh, black into white. And so we are buying again. And I don't know, I really don't know what happened here. Probably weekend, yes, weekend. From four to seven. Sometimes better things happen during the weekend. Um, <clears throat> and look, now it looks like the price is dropping, but not enough for the expert advisor to consider a downtrend and to open a sell. So basically, we are running, uh, uh, we are losing, I'm losing, and the expert advisor is still not allowed to open a sell to hedge. Well, let's hedge uh, hedging fluidly. I'm probably somewhere at this point the trend should have been reversed already or almost or not yet all right another huge spike happened and now we are safe apparently uh, well looks like it's also about luck sometimes not necessarily about trading skills
I don't really remember what happened in November, uh, and I'm too lazy to check now. Uh, anyway, this uh, huge party that happened has nothing to do with the expert advisor, <laughs> obviously. <coughs> However, it, it's nice how it managed to uh, to deal with the, the open trades and close them in profit. Nine ninety-six. That's happy. All right. We still don't have a downtrend, probably, due to this uh, big spike. I would like to see one more example of hedging with the trend before I close this, or I end this video. Um, this is another trade uh, open. Finally, we have a downtrend, it means. We have the opposite buy stop open 0 0.04, double the size of the initial trade. I hope it will go up and trigger it so we can see how it. No, it didn't. It's like any other thing, of course, when you want it to go wrong, it does one. Uh, Oh well, trailing the price, we talked about this in the other video, trail stop and trail steps. The expert advisor can trail the price step by step. And finally we have a head, a basket open, uh, a sell and a buy, two opposite trades. And hopefully you will see another sale happening somewhere. I don't know where actually. Ah, there it is. Here at this point, the non -line, the signal non line moving average changed the color from white into black, and so the expert advisor opened the the sell uh, hedging trade according with the trend. We are in a downtrend, right? Another good thing happened, the buy trade is closed. And we've been in profit for a while. Now it's again negative profit. And finally the expert advisor closed both trades. That's because the non line moving average changed the color. And we have the uh, closed trade that non line moving average set to true. Uh, that doesn't matter if uh, there are opposite trades, there is only one trade or there are trades of the same kind. I'm not sure I, I said this in the other video. Um, it only matters uh, um, to, for the real profit to reach, uh, to be at least minimum, pro at least equal to the minimum profit. And then the expert advisor will close them when the non line moving average will change the color from white into black or black into white. And I guess this is it. Um, let's uh, cut this uh, short now. I'm trying to see if there's something we didn't talk about. We talked about this. Ah, right. I don't think we talked about this. Close trades at maximum orders. Or did we? Close trades at maximum orders. Uh, if you set this to true, the expert advisor will close all the trades on the chart as soon as the number will reach the maximum orders uh, that you can choose here. It's a, a, another um, safe stop, let's say, in case things go wrong that you can use, but mind that if you set it to true and if it will close it, it will close it as soon as for this settings the fifth, uh, the 15th uh, uh, order will be open. And that means that we'll probably close uh, with a loss, right? So that will be trade close at maximum order. Uh, trade close means profit, we talked about this again and again. Close trades at take profit. Um, it, well, 
there's not much to say. It closes the trade at take profit. Let's set this to true. I don't think we've seen an example though. Close trade at take profit. Uh, it will close the trade a profitable trade. Um, a trade profit uh, uh, level 50 pips away uh, when you are hedging uh, fluidly or hedging using the hedge the zone. Otherwise, if you don't hedge, the export advisor will set the regular take profit and stop loss. Let's see what's happening. Just so we can have an idea about this and then we can close this video for the day. <coughs> Hopefully. I've done a good job uh, explaining. And hopefully, you understood everything. Oh, great. It jumped. Yes, that's the problem with the strategy. That's it. It's never precise. And uh, as a word of advice, you shouldn't use the strategy tester to. Uh, Oh, well, as a, take it too seriously, let's say. The strategy tester is only to see and to test how, but to understand how something works. It's not to find exact uh, uh, values, exact settings for future trades. We don't know if what happened in the strategy tester will happen again, but we can use the strategy tester uh, as we do it now to see how this expert advisor works and what it does what can do, what cannot do. I'm, uh, I'm only saying this because uh, sometimes people ask me, um, not necessarily customers, uh, traders, probably new traders, and they ask me what, what are the best settings for this or that expert advice. There are no best settings. How should I know? I don't know your trading style, I don't know your trading time frame, uh, but yes, yeah, first of all, I don't know your trading style, I don't know your uh, account size, I don't know your um, risk appetite, and there are no best trading uh, settings. I always like that big spike, it's about to happen again. And uh, I don't think we'll have a chance to see that close trade that uh, take profit uh, doing something. Or maybe we will, but we have to wait a little. Will this happen? All oh, right, finally. <coughs> This is close trade that take profit. Take profit was set to 50 pips. As soon as the price uh, uh, reached 50 pips away from the opening uh, price, uh, well, the expert advisor closed uh, uh, the trade, right? Without a normal take profit placed on the broker server, it just closes. All right, uh, this is it. And uh, we'll close this uh, demonstration here. And again, we have the contact page. Go to the website, robotfx.ro if there's something you don't understand and leave a message there. Um, hopefully, you will watch the other videos first because I'm pretty sure that everything has been explained um, by now. Anyway, good luck trading and bye-bye.